In this video, we will explore the exact pressures required by the R32 refrigerant gas and air conditioning systems. Additionally, we will quickly analyze its thermodynamic behavior. Although R32 is a high efficiency gas, it is especially intended for air conditioning systems. Since in lower temperature applications such as freezers or refrigerators, it shows a very high discharge temperature at the compressor outlet, which restricts its use in low and medium temperature applications. Next, we will observe the behavior of R32 in the cooling cycle. 1. Let's start by selecting R32 gas in the simulator and an evaporation or cooling temperature of 4 degrees Celsius, a typical value for air conditioning systems. 2. For a more precise calculation, we will set the superheat adjustment to 5 degrees Celsius at the evaporator outlet. 3. Let's remember that superheat is the increase in temperature of the refrigerant gas inside the evaporator coil, located in the indoor unit. 4. The superheat value varies depending on the thermal load of the air conditioning system. For example, in a room or space with a large number of people, the superheat may exceed 5 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, with a lower thermal load or fewer people in the room, the superheat will be less than 5 degrees Celsius and can even reach 0 degrees Celsius when the cooling load is very low. 5. Now let's focus on the condensation temperature inside the air conditioning system. To do this, we will add 10 degrees Celsius to the ambient outdoor temperature of the unit. For example, if the outdoor temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the condensation temperature will be 40 degrees Celsius. By the way, the link to access this simulator is provided in the video description. 6. Now, let's select a sub-cooling of 5 degrees Celsius. Sub-cooling is the decrease in the refrigerant's temperature when it is in liquid phase at the condenser outlet which improves system efficiency. 7. For example, if the condenser's external surface is clean and there is proper airflow, slightly higher subcooling values can be achieved. However, it is important to note that in hot climates or under adverse thermal exchange conditions in the condenser, such as low fan speed or external dirt on the condenser coil, the subcooling may be less than 5 degrees Celsius, even dropping to 0 degrees Celsius. 8. The pressure indicated by the system's gauge depends on the altitude above sea level. In this field of the simulator, we can select the altitude at which the equipment is located. This allows us to obtain a more accurate gauge pressure, which is crucial for high-precision refrigeration systems. 9. In this way, the pressure shown on the gauge will vary from one location to another. For example, at 1000 meters of altitude, the low and high pressures adjust to the value shown on screen. 10. At 2000 meters of altitude, the low and high pressures change according to what is shown in the figure. 11. In this part of the simulator, we can view the discharge temperature. This is the temperature of the refrigerant immediately at the compressor outlet. Let's see how it changes. Remember that the link to access this simulator is available in the video description.